All right, guys, we are on the other side of the Detroit River right now. It's Caesars Windsor. We are gonna be checking out MGM Grand again. Now, some of my subscribers apparently still think it's not the safest place to go. Some people even said that, you know, there was a robbery in the parking lot the other week or whatever the case is. So we're gonna go check it out again, crossing our fingers. I mean, we were fine the last time. Uh, we wanna see what else is new there since we were last there. We're gonna go and check it out. Um, yeah, fingers crossed everything is okay. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Right? Anyway, if you're not subscribed, by the way, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You can do that right there. There's a little button right there that you can press and you will be able to subscribe to my channel. Totally free for you, but it also really helps me out to keep you know delivering this free content for you guys. Anyway, that being said, let's go to Detroit. All right, so last time we took the tunnel over to uh, the Detroit from Windsor. One of my subscribers, I will show a screenshot of that below, mentioned to take the bridge next time because I was a little claustrophobic in that tunnel. We are on the Ambassador Bridge right now uh, by accident, actually. It just seemed that this way, way was about the same timing. So we thought, okay, let's check it out. It's, uh, you know, a different way. So we are currently going over the Detroit River on the Ambassador Bridge. New experience, a little less, claustroph little less claustrophobic. So uh, anyway, we'll see you in Detroit. A bit strange we wanted to check out this uh central market where they have like a it's almost like a little food hall uh, for some reason fridays and saturdays they don't open till five which i mean it's pretty busy in here lunchtime you think they would want to have you know a few things open it says all the restaurants except for fat daddies are open but just currently not open i guess just because of the timing so we're gonna see what else we can eat maybe check out the food court Okay, we just checked out the little food court area. Only Red Sauce, which is like a pizza place, and some Coney Island hot dog place are open. All the other places are closed, so we're gonna see where else we can go grab a quick bite. All right, guys, so we kind of struggled to get something to eat. We didn't want the food court. We didn't really want the dining hall. Well, this dining hall was open. We ended up back at Tab. We're gonna try some different things today, though. We're gonna split a uh, fish and chips and a pretzel. Yeah, we did do the My Vegas once again, so this is the where you get the pay for the main meal, you get an appetizer for free. Uh, we also ordered a couple drinks, Cody got a beer, I got himself a, another margarita. We'll uh, check this out when they get here. Okay, so drinks just arrived. Cody got himself a pilsner of some sort. He doesn't remember what it is. I'm not a big beer drinker, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. That's actually not too bad. It's kind of refreshing, to be honest with you. Um, I got, of course, margarita. Can't go wrong with a good margarita. It's delicious. She gave me the sugar rim as well, which kind of adds a little bit of extra sweetness. It's kind of nice. I mean, we're just waiting for the food to get here, so we'll check it soon. Okay, guys, we got the large pretzel here. It's definitely large. It's a little harder than I expected it to be, to be honest with you, but it's a quick try. It came with a grainy mustard as well as like a cheese, so. Oh my god, yeah, it's really hot. Let's check the cheese out first. It's like a nacho cheese, I guess, kind of like what you get on like, you know, nachos at the movie theater kind of thing. Let's try the bean mustard. The pretzel is very dry. So, I like the taste of the mustard better, but I expect the pretzel to be a lot more soft and like buttery, but it's more of a crunchier pretzel. It's okay. We're gonna wait for our fish to come, finish this up, check when you fit. really cute. We ordered one fish and chips, but it looks like they split into two plates, which is really, really nice. Um, it's pretty big portions here, so the splitting is definitely not a bad idea. I'm going to try this fish here. It's like a red pepper tartar sauce, so... Mm. It's a bit different, but it's like got a nice sweetness to it. It's really good. These fries are pretty good, too. we got to give it a try to these little fries. definitely better than that pretzel. To me, like, I like malt pretzels that have that, like, soft, doughy texture. That was a lot harder, like, crunchy as hell. These special chips are really good, though. We're gonna eat these up, and then we're gonna uh, check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so we just got the bill. Everything was sorted out. Uh, total bill was only about 50 bucks after tax and everything. I was quite surprised with that. After we did the My Vegas discount, it ended up being about 38 because it got us about $12 off for the uh, appetizer. 
Um, all in all, though, yeah. Oh, and we obviously tipped on the original total on the 50, not on the 38. But uh, yeah, all in all, not too bad. Pretty inexpensive in general, especially, you know, with my Vegas. I would recommend, I mean, we split a main, split an app. I'm absolutely stuffed. So I think that's probably enough food. I mean, we probably could have even avoided the app. I think I said I didn't love the pretzels, but too hard. If you like that type of thing, you will be into it. For me, I like those soft, doughy pretzels, so I wasn't a big fan. Anyway, we are gonna go and uh, lose some money in the casino, so uh, wish us luck. Alright, so we are currently under the Detroit River. Apparently my uh, GPS said that taking the tunnel back would be the right way, so we are currently stuck under the Detroit River. And I really hate it. I hate it so much. It's yeah, a little claustrophobic. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to go over quickly our experience at MGM uh, Detroit today. So all in all, honestly, same same as before. Um, pretty positive experience overall. I actually find people at that casino to be a little bit more on the friendly side too. Even just random strangers will sit beside you and play a machine and you know talk to you and you know possibly ask you for bus money, um, which is fine. Um, but uh, overall, though, it was pretty pretty okay. Like we had a pretty good time. I found they had a lot of new machines, which I was really happy about. They, uh, we did all right on like Sneak It Rich, for example. We did okay on um, uh, Little Shop of Horrors. So we won a few little things here and there. Uh, yeah, just overall did okay. Like the fact they had some newer machines this time versus the last time we were there. Would have liked to have tried somewhere different to eat, but the timing just didn't really work out. So we did just end up eating a tap again, which again was totally fine. We, you know, it was okay like the pretzel wasn't my favorite this was decent but that tartar sauce was pretty good that red pepper tartar sauce was uh, interesting so we did like that uh, one thing that i don't know if uh has been made public yet but one thing i did want to point out was uh with the status match and we were talking to the people at the rewards desk um they it seemed a bit of confusion there first they said they weren't doing any matching then they said that any matching that's done now expires August 1st, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So if you had status matched previously, for some reason it would have still been okay. But for some reason the status match that they're doing now, they're saying is expiring, will expire August 1st. Uh, it says that they weren't matching to, originally they said they weren't matching to Cosmo, they weren't matching to, to Crown and Anchor, which they were before. So I don't really know what's gonna happen with the status matching. I am a bit concerned because uh, I know a lot of you guys out there do take advantage of the, the status matching through other casinos, through the competitors. Um, I know Caesars has become a lot tighter with that, so I don't know if uh, if MGM is going that same route as well. I'm a bit worried. I really hope that's not the case. Hopefully, you know, we can continue being <laughs> having good status there and doing the status matching and everything, especially now that MGM has partnered with uh, Marriott, so that you know could open a lot of doors for people who are, are Marriott Rewards members and also MGM Rewards members. So. Fingers crossed that uh, we are still able to, they, maybe if they renew the program, it works out better. I know that usually isn't the case, usually it's the opposite and you end up kind of losing out a lot of things. So we'll see, crossing our fingers. I will say there was definitely a lot more traffic this time. Uh, last time we were here was in February. This is, we're in here in the summer now. So could be people just in general about using these borders. Uh, but even the casino itself seemed a lot busier this time versus the last time, a lot more people in there, uh, which, you know, is okay i mean safety wise i can say i we parked in the platinum parking lot so i didn't feel unsafe there. i did have security you know driving around i felt pretty okay in that sense uh even in the casino i felt pretty comfortable i think you know as i said people were coming and talking to us whether you know they were trying to scope us out or something i didn't i don't know i didn't fully get that impression but it's completely possible but uh yeah i mean we walked out okay okay we're almost back in Canada on the, you know, well, underneath the Detroit River as we speak. So <laughs> anyway, that's probably going to be about it for our experience at MGM Detroit. Um, I do want to go back to Detroit at some point. I know there's a couple other casinos. There's, uh, what is it? Um, what is it called? Greek. Yeah, there's the Greek town one. There's Motor City, I think is the other one. So I would actually like to go back at some point and cover those two places as well uh, and any other place that you guys maybe suggest below. There has been some other suggestions below to check out those two places and I did want to do that today but we just kind of, time got away from us. We got to get back to uh, to Caesars now unfortunately so we weren't able to you know fully take advantage of our time in Detroit. So definitely if you have places that you'd like me to check out or to feature leave them below because it you know helps obviously you know other travelers with you know finding different places to go it helps me you know obviously delivering 
you know new content to you guys that you guys actually want to see and want to you know learn about and everything so leave those uh suggestions below um yeah i'm i'm we're i think halfway through this we're almost out we're almost out of the tunnel so you know we're hopefully gonna make it back soon so anyway thank you guys for checking out mgm grand detroit with me once again um if you are subscribed thank you so much for subscribing uh, if you aren't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button it's right right down below at the bottom there uh it really helps me out it really helps to keep the channel going you know helps me keep delivering this you know free content to you guys so i really do appreciate it again it's totally free for you but uh yeah really really appreciate it if you guys could uh, hit that subscribe button hit a like button all that fun youtube stuff once again it's been daniel spot right and we'll see you in the next one